Well, we're off to a pretty good start this morning. We burned up one battery though, so we're gonna uh, put on a new. We haven't even got to the main part of that top right there yet. Well, it ain't really a top, it's a float over ironwood tree. But we hadn't even got to the back roots, but it's a little bit deeper out there. So the crop is trying to spawn up in here in knee deep water. That's how deep I am right there, about knee deep. And uh, it's got a good hard bottom here, which makes it easy wading. And uh, about seven or eight here, missed a couple, got three keepers, which is a good start. All right, we we moved up our customary half a step. And there he is. Shipboard love on both hands. That cook keeps cutting me. That's a good one there now. stood right there now. I ain't even gonna take a chance of putting him on the strainer. We're gonna take him right on over here and put him in the cooler. That is a 16 inch male white crappie. I call them black crappie because they turn that color in the morning season, but that there is a good one. He gonna make all them other ones look short. change our fishing style a little bit now we got to go to holding our line so we can stick it up on these bushes so scared to get too close because there's still some fish in there huh. 
Let's go around and fish the outside edge of this side and let that cool down and then we'll come back around there. If that was a fish or a limb. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. That was a fish. Little old bitty male. Oh baby. Best fish of the day yesterday right there. It's gonna be hard to beat that and we done caught this morning. That one got a scar on his back. I don't think he's gonna keep. Nope. He's a throwback. Keeper. We caught a few fish here yesterday, but this wind is really something this morning. But we're going to uh, we're going to go out here and try them for just a minute or two. And if we don't catch nothing, we're going to head to the house. We could go to the other side of the lake, but uh, I think I'm just going to call it quits. This wind is blowing so hard, you probably ain't gonna even be able to tell if you get a bite. So we're gonna have to really pay close attention to our line and everything. I have caught fish in a wind this bad before, but it was a little more sheltered than this. I don't think that was a fish. I think that was wishful thinking. My goodness. Oh, we did miss a fish here. There he is. Look at that. I don't think he's a keeper, but... Keeper, but we caught a fish in this kind of wind.
I decided it would be in my best interest to walk the kayak back to the truck instead of getting in it and trying to paddle it. It's a little bit further around, but I feel like I'm a whole lot less likely to drown if I'm walking. So.